time now for US News with the queen of American showbiz, royal and political reporting, Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, great to see you Hi, again. Leo. I've had a Red Bull and I'm ready to go. <laughs> You've got wings. Anyway, I, 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 I understand that uh, they've done a poll and under 24s aren't interested in Joe Biden. Are you shocked, Leo? I know, you prob- <laughs> I mean, I know, I know it probably took you back a little bit, right? Yeah, that's right. Young people not impressed with Sleepy Joe today. In a, in a New York Times Siena poll, 18 to 29 year old voters, they overwhelmingly expressed dissatisfaction with President Biden. Only 4% said that they had a very favorable opinion of him versus the 17% of the general population. Um, and then uh, there was another 4% that said that that they thought he was doing a good job. Not overwhelmingly, but he was doing okay. Nearly two thirds of young voters voted for Biden in 2020, but a lot has changed since then, as you can imagine. According to Turning Point USA, 2022 saw the most suicides ever in a year in the United States. Shockingly, that number is 50,000. 2021 saw the most drug overdose deaths in the United States, 106,000 in June of 2022. Um, Of course, we experienced the highest inflation in 40 years, 8.9% recently. Last year, we witnessed the most illegal immigrants in a year, over 2. I think it was 2.76 million. And in 2022, we saw the highest U.S. average gas price jumped up to $5 a gallon, gallon, Leo. I'm like kitchen rides around town. I can't afford that kind of gas. (laughs) And then this year, we've managed to achieve the most consumer credit card debt on record, one trillion with a T. So young people are looking at each other going, "Uh, I want out. How do I escape this? (laughs) Well, it's interesting because, I mean, Joe Biden is... On the face of it, a lot of his policies are super woke. He's got, you know, a transgender health minister. He's uh, he's open. He's openly uh, hired on on diversity tick box uh, schemes. Uh, he's he's just openly said, you know, we're definitely going to get a black woman for this, which you'd think would play well with young people who are who are you know in, into that kind of stuff and a lot more than than don't, Trump. Don't forget, he was going to forget forgive everybody's student loan debt. Don't I mean that's really <laughs> what he ran on in 2020. Remember, like everybody gets to just say goodbye to all of their debt, open up more credit cards, go buy that BMW. I mean, that was really what 2020 was all about. And then that, did that student loan debt, was it ever forgiven or did, uh, did the, their uh, government stymie that plan? I think I think that it's still in the process. He found a bit of a loophole, but no, but no it's not been forgiven the way that he promised it would be forgiven. No, Leo. Wow, so it looks like we could uh, see even young people voting for Trump next time around. And looking at uh, Megan, she's making a return to acting, I believe. Speaking of things, terrible things happening in the United States that we should blame Joe Biden for, right? <laughs> According to Life and Style magazine, Meghan Markle thinks there's an Oscar in her future, Leo. And I'm not talking, I'm, I'm, t- I'm actually talking about the statue. I'm not talking about the Sesame Street character, which is far more realistic here in the state of California because our trash cans do talk to us thanks to Gavin Newsom's homeless plague. Uh, We get what we vote for here in California, guys. But according to a source, Suits is such a hit. These reruns you're seeing on on Netflix, and they're like forcing it down your throat right now, that Megan's been told that there's a demand from her for fans and she should act again. They say she's excited, she really wants to sink her teeth into a dramatic film role, and she thinks an Oscar would be in her future. The magazine claims magazine uh, Megan is being flooded with offers, and um, I'm sure her part in 90210 has nothing to do with that. Uh, they also say that she's talking to some big producers and directors about projects. But I would say I'm a little hesitant about this particular report because at the time of signing with William Morris Endeavor, they said that she had no desire to return to acting. So we'll see. Maybe somebody should cast her as the president so that all of these wild royal rumors can like collide. Yeah, well, I think she didn't want to return to acting when things were going well with all her other plans. Uh, but, you know, she's got a mortgage to pay, so <laughs> she wants, she needs to pay those bills somehow. 16 so, bathrooms, yeah. Leo, 16 bathrooms. The toilet paper's expensive. Yeah, well, it's either going to be acting or only fans. Uh, staying with the royal family, we've got uh, the Crown Diana controversy. What, what's this all about? 
Uh, uh, Leo, I, I'm really surprised that they're going in this direction, but people are pretty irate over the idea of the crown recreating the death of Princess Diana. And you can Google it. You can see all of the images that photographers have taken of their setups around town. They are really going the extra mile to recreate the death of Princess Diana. Um, but producers are promising to handle her death delicately in season six. That's coming this November. An EP named Suzanne Mackey recently said, we're thoughtful people and we're sensitive people. However, I don't know if you remember how horrific and kind of dishonest they made the Prince Philip losing his family storyline. And according to the Sun at the time, Prince Philip even considered suing the crown. Um, I don't think that revisiting Diana's death does her legacy any favors. I love Diana. My whole brand is to die for daily. My whole brand is about Diana, but the facts aren't favorable to her memory. You know, it's been so long. She's become this martyr, this saint-like character, but the, you know, the truth is she was running around with a Nepo baby who had an alleged drug problem trying to make an ex-boyfriend jealous um they point they painted diana as a head case in previous seasons and you wonder how does prince harry justify working with the same media company that has not been very nice to his family wow i hadn't even thought of that but yes it is the same he's going to be walking into the same pro building with the the producers of this show and as you say you know they might not be handling it so delicately because in previous uh, previous episodes they controversially as you say uh, you know portrayed her as, as a bit of a, a bit of a head case uh, so that's that's yeah that's crazy I mean, I just the idea they, they she was wrapped around a toilet, I think, for the entire season four. And everybody that I talked to that knew her said, you know, that was a teeny tiny aspect of her. But she was joy and she was confident and she, you know, found she was a fighter and she found a solution when she had a problem. So I've always been disappointed by their portrayal of Diana. And, I, and I'm not looking forward to season six, if I'm being honest with you. Well, Kinsey, thank you so much for joining us tonight, all the way from Hollywood, where it looks like the weather's much better. Great to speak to you.